Hello, good morning. This is a walkthrough video of White Bones Restaurant for their online food ordering application. So let me log into the main website that everyone will go to, islandordering.com. When you log into the website, you go to login, and you're going to enter your email right here and your user password. This email right here will be changed. This is just for the demo purposes. So I'm going to log in. Once you log in here, you're now in the back panel. You're going to click on control panel. And as you can see right here, your name is right here, Kirsty. Now, as we were discussing, you wanted a way to be notified of incoming orders. So what you can do is go to settings right here. Select notifications. So notifications currently turned off. I'm going to turn it on. I want to set it to go off every 10 seconds. Click save. What this means now that when an order comes in on this application, you're, you're, you're in the back office of this application. There's going to be a sound that's going to be made on your laptop. Now, you do not need to. This part here for users is actually a database of customers who have ordered from you and they are online. You'll be able to see them here. I can also send them email messages. The delivery zone. I would not advise to trouble anything right here. Uh, let me just do that for you. Automatic discount. When, once your database has grown, <clears throat> sorry, once your database has grown to a significant number of people, what you can do is now enter, let's say you can say if someone um, orders over $5,000 worth, um, worth of food products from your menu, what you can now do is say, Anything over 5,000, we'll get a 4% discount, 3% discount. You can do that. Or you can create a discount code like here that you can give to your customers by email. So customers who, who order a lot from you online, you can send them a special email on special days. And once they apply a discount, no, discount code, they will get a discount. So for example, this discount here, you could say whoever enters this discount code into their, into their online ordering um, for, for food from your restaurant, it will give them a 20% um, discount. And you could say this one here now is for a 30% discount or 10% discount. You can enter as many codes as you want right here. My business, the My Business button here, if you have more than one location, so let's say you have one in Kingston, one in Montague Bay, one in Ochoa, so then you can specify which restaurant you want to deal with. Orders. This is where you're going to process the orders that come through the application. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to log in through another window and create an order. The current time now is 7.49 a.m. on Monday, the 12th of October. So for your customers and for your print media, you're going to tell them that your website for ordering is islandordering.com slash whitebones. That will take them directly to your menu online. Because the time is now 7.50 a.m. on Monday, it's going to tell me that the menu is closed because the scheduled time for this menu to be open for online ordering is 11.30 a.m. So I'm going to pre-order by pressing here. Select my pre-order date, Monday. Let me set a time for 12. 12.30, 12.30 p.m. Submit. Now, for this demo, I'm going to be ordering grill snapper with rice du jour. As you notice right here, they can, they can only order one item here. That is a complimentary item that comes with them. As we had discussed, you have, you have about 19 items on your menu. So I broke it down to these right here. You can change this um, as you see necessary, but I would not advise you to have as much as 19 options. That's too many options. So for this demo, I'm choosing rice du jour and extra sides I want. I will choose steamed bami and crackers. Here, I'll add special instructions. Let us say my special instructions are extra spicy. Please excuse the noise from the dogs outside. Extra spicy. Add to cart. Please select delivery option. I'm going to select pick up. Continue. Over here to the right, I see like order now. Here is as you can see, it's the total cost of my menu. 
for my sorry for my bill is two thousand five hundred sixty three dollars. That is three hundred sixty three. Order now. I'm going to continue as a guest. Enter my name here, Landry Coke. Uh, email Landry Coke at gmail dot com. Address for this demo I write thirteen Glen. Morning. Morning. Um, telephone numbers one two three four five six seven. There's, you see where the customer would have entered a discount coupon if I give them one. But it's not in the system now for your restaurant. That's a big update. That's the time. That is 12.30 12, 12 p.m. Payment method. Only option they have right here now is cash on delivery. Order now. <phone rings> you hear a noise? That ringing? That is actually the noise I'm going to hear on your laptop. So let me go back now to the, um, to the admin panel. Pops up on the screen, you have pending orders. Click on the button to start the sound. So I have one order that just came through a while ago as admin. Click OK. What I need to do now is to refresh this page. And here you see the order. Order number 53. See, it's going to continue ring and ring and notify me until I do something with the order. But for this demo right here now, I'm going to turn this ringing off. After a while, it gets annoying. Well, to me, I do it all the time. So notifications, turn it off. Notifications off, right? Save. Now let me get back to the ordering. Um, so remember a while ago we just did an order. Okay, let me go back to the other screen. This is the order that was just placed a while ago. Your order has been successfully placed. So the customer's order number is 53. That's the order we just did a while ago. Let me log in back to the back back admin panel you see right here order number is 53 okay now I'm going to log in now to my email see that's email you land record you see auto 53 hi there your order has been placed successfully and here it shows the restaurant name the address that was the um that just I entered I mean, sorry, your, your address. And here's my name, my email address, my home address, my telephone numbers, a pre order, the date and delivery I want for the order. One good snapper, rice is your exercise, tea bam, and crackers. That was what we ordered. Total cost for the order. Now, this is what I get as the, um, as the customer. Now, what do we do here? From here, you click on pending because the order is pending. Drop arrow, and you're gonna change the order. If the order is completed, you you, you select completed right here. But right here, no the order is in progress. It's in, it's been pre prepared, okay? Or you can say a restaurant has accepted the order. So let us say a restaurant has accepted the order. You notice order has moved from this red area here, and now has gone down to the yellow section right here, and say the restaurant has accepted. And gone back here to the main menu. Just want to see what's going to happen here when I select next again. Now let us say I say the order is in preparation. Menu, email. So there's another email that come in. It says order is now being processed. See there? Order is 43 is processing. So that's an email that I sent to the customer to let them know that the restaurant is now processing their order. Once you have processed the order and the order is ready, select processing and you select completed. The order has now moved from the yellow bar to the green bar. We say the order is completed. Let me go back to my email inbox. See, there's another email again. The customer will get an email that says the order is now completed. This will let the customer know that the order is now ready for pickup and they can come for, their, come for their order. I want you to also know that as the admin, your main email address, you will also get a copy of the email that is sent to the customer. So you can, you'll have a database, an email backup, should I say, of what has been ordered from your restaurant. 
this is basically the same email that I got. My personal email, you'll also have a copy of it. So let us say, for example, um, you're, you, you may be having problems with the, um, with the admin or someone who's there may not, may, not be able to know, may not know how to use it. You cannot um, process the emails, the orders from, from your email and you see what will stamp out the order. You see the customer's name uh, here, email address, his telephone number, everything. You can call them to confirm the order with them or process it from here. So now the order is completed. Also goes back there. And that is it right here now for the demo. Um, here, you can edit to change your information. You can put a picture up here if you want to, or a logo right here if you want to. Charge is yours. But I would just leave it as it is right here now. That is it. Thank you for watching this review.